looks like we're live. What is up, Gato Squad? We just got enough light to be outdoors. Beautiful sunset. Take a look at the thumbnail I uh, attached. Looks awesome. What's going on, guys? What up, Eric? What do you guys want to see right now? The BMW, the WRX, or more of the Type R? What up, Aaron? <coughs> What's going on, Art? Mostly doing all right. Pretty much recovered. Take a look at my neighbor's uh, Christmas decorations. He is on point. Look at that. Can't even compete with that. <laughs> Happy Sunday, Mario. Well, it's better now, Mario, that's, uh, that I'm not sick anymore. So Mario asked me how my weekend's going. <laughs> it's Mrs. Flying Gato. Yeah, starting to feel better. Still recovering, but I'll live. We're about a minute in. What's up, Danny? How are y'all doing today? You guys can see me. It's getting dark fast. <laughs> What's going on? So yeah guys, let's go ahead and uh, get started. We'll do uh, announcements first, as usual. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll go with the uh, comments. What up TSI K-Boy? So Mary says, just turn my lights on all of my cars and that's my Christmas lights. <laughs> that's true. Shades, what's going on? Westchester. Oh, that's pretty close. I have a house in Westchester. 92 Caleb. We're doing it outside. We're doing it outside. Say hello to uh, Mrs. Flying Gato. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's a little cold, but, you know, we'll figure it out. All right, let me set this down so I can uh, start with the announcements. All righty. All right, how does that look? Okay, it's a little cold. I'm recovering still. Got my glasses on. It looks good, it looks good. Can you guys hear me all right? So let's start with the announcement. So before I forget, um, I keep forgetting to tell you guys, I have a P.O. box. Uh, so if you guys wanna send me some cool stuff, it'd be awesome. P.O. box number 40, Portland, Pennsylvania. What's the zip code? 18351. 18351. I'll check it uh, a couple of times a week. It's very close to me. So I'll go and drive over. It's about a 10 minute drive for me. I'll go and drive over and check it out uh, a couple of times a week. And whenever I get one, I'll just include it in the video that I'm doing that day. Mm -hmm. So uh, that'll be pretty uh, exciting. Um, this week, I'm going to be doing some WRX content. So you guys have been asking me what's going on with WRX. And you guys uh, saw it a little bit, so I'm going to be actually uh, taking a closer look at it. We're going to be talking about it, what the future is going to be, and uh, things like that. You know, I'm not sure exactly what uh, what I want to do with it. I'll ask you guys a question after my announcements to discuss. But uh, yeah, so it's going to be more WRX content coming this week. If you haven't seen it, uh, the video from the Gato Squad meet is up. I put it up yesterday. I think it came out pretty good. Uh, I didn't have that much, and I didn't have that much good footage in my opinion, but I tried to put it together all right. Uh, I think it looks great, and yeah, I was really happy with the turnout at the first Gato Squad meet. Very, very good turnout. Um, thank you. you know, thank yeah, you everyone for coming. Thanks everyone for coming. It was awesome. I had a great time meeting everybody and seeing everybody. Uh, so it was, it was an awesome time. Uh, the next bit of, uh, uh, I guess, news is that uh, my S two thousand. So I've been saying how I'm going to put away the S two thousand for the winter. Well, plot twister. <laughs> plot twist. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. I'm like, my town does not use salt. They don't salt the roads. They use like gravel and stuff for the for the winter. So there's no real damage to driving the car around in the winter since there's no salt on the ground. So I'm like, you know what? Might as well just keep the car, you know, active. What's the point of winning an S2000 when you don't have it for for four to five months out of the year? Let's just keep it active. Like I said, my town doesn't use salt. So we're going to uh, do a lot more things with the S2000. As soon as I get my Prelude back, I'll get the plates back on the S2000, and we'll be all set with that. 
So uh, uh, now in the same vein with the Prelude, we are still working on the Prelude. It should be coming soon, very uh, very soon. You got a car coming. What about the videos with the top down and us now? Oh, that's right. <laughs> so the, we're gonna have. What do you guys think about uh, having uh, some videos of me top down in the snow with the <laughs> S2000? Because I've done it before. I've driven the S2000 in the snow before with the top down. You know, before they they get a chance to salt. Um, but I think I'm gonna be doing it here since there's no, you know, there's no assault like I said. So what do you guys think of that? I think it's pretty exciting to do that. Uh, it's gonna be pretty fun sliding around, uh, you know, doing drifts with the S2000. Top down. So, top down. <laughs> so yeah. Now uh, one question I have for you guys is which car should be my winter car? It, originally, it was gonna be the Type R. It's gonna be the only winter car I would have. But, uh, and I'm still gonna drive it in the winter. You know, I'm still gonna have videos of driving in the snow, driving in the winter. Um, but now that I have a Prelude and I have the WRX, you know, should I have the WRX be the winter car? I think I think that's the purpose of the WRX, but there's so much work that needs to get done to it first. I'm not sure if that's exactly what I'm going to do yet. Uh, it needs to become reliable before I start driving it a lot. You know, it's it's got 277,000 miles. The axle's broken. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I got to do to it. We'll cover that in the video. But. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, should the Prelude be? Uh, since Prelude's pretty much uh, all set and done, it's pretty much reliable now. Uh, the Type R obviously is going to be reliable. Should I drive that around in the winter or should it be the WRX? Someone said 335. 335D? <laughs> it's a rear wheel drive. I'd have, to, I'd have to get different wheels and tires for it. And I'm trying to like, I'm trying to, you know, get as much as possible in terms of car parts, but it's getting expensive. So if I get wheels and tires for the 335D, then I can't get it for the S2000, and I may not be able to get the parts for the WRX. So it's a lot of parts I gotta juggle, right? <laughs> um, another thing I wanted to ask you guys is if uh, I'm open for it. If you guys have a car and you're within like an hour, hour and a half from where I live, uh, I'd be more than happy to drive over to you or and feature your car. Yeah, on channel. meet somewhere and I be happy to feature your car you know if you have a starting YouTube if you're starting out with a YouTube channel I'll be happy to collaborate and uh, yeah I just want to drive as many uh, cars as possible so I haven't if I haven't driven your car on the channel yet um, I'm definitely open to uh, to getting your car on the channel I would love to you know I, I want to drive it around I'd ask you questions you know just like I did with the Civic Si the 2013 Civic Si I'd love to feature your car on the channel it'd be awesome uh, it'd be awesome to meet you too and you, you know you, you'll get of course a Gato Squad sticker <laughs> And a dose of gato. And a dose of my of, of having me, if you, if you can stand it, right? <laughs> so yeah, that pretty much uh, wraps it up on the on the announcements. Uh, I just wanted to talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, it's getting colder and colder out here. <laughs> All right. So as you guys know, I, you know, I was sick for a while, and um, yeah, I, I didn't post a video for the first time in a long time uh, on Friday. Uh, but you know, everyone was busy in the Thanksgiving anyway. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, by the way. And uh, yeah, so um, that pretty much wraps it up. And uh, the question I have for you guys is, you know, the that winter car question. And what was your haul? What did you guys get on Black Friday? Anything oh, good? Black yeah, yeah, you guys get anything good? I was shopping around. Mm -hmm. I got myself a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> so I got myself a nice cheap chainsaw. My old chainsaw broke, so uh, I'm gonna be cutting down trees and stuff. And I gotta cut uh, firewood. So I got myself a chainsaw. It was pretty cool. And. Uh, that pretty much uh, is all, that's all I got for now. I'm looking at mm -hmm. tires right now. I'm looking to buy wheels and tires. For we need a lot of tires. A we lot. We need tires for the Beamer. We need tires for the S2000. Right. That WRX needs WRX, tires. Yeah. Prelude probably needs tires. <laughs> Cyber Monday is coming. It's tomorrow. So. <laughs> tomorrow. So I'll be looking at tires uh, and wheels and all that kind of stuff. And we'll do videos on, on what I get, of course. I got my, uh, my snowblower as well. So let's go through some comments. Right. Where were you? <laughs> we were, we're so behind. We're behind. Uh, where did you leave off, Mario? So, greetings from Westchester. That's where I left off. <laughs> okay. Zaki Chen, thank you guys for checking out my channel. More car reviews to come. Keep in touch. Great job on your first video. Keep it up. Can't wait to see it, Zach. Yep. Would love to collaborate if you're around. <laughs> <laughs> he's, in, he's in the West Coast. Oh. <laughs> uh, Maddie, more on the Thai bar. Uh, G Shack Love, glad to see you're feeling better. Maddie, by the, hello by the way. <coughs> um, Mario, it's not that bad out today. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, not, it's, not, it's too not too bad. bad. It's getting just colder because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's getting nighttime. Roy, what's up, Gato Squad? What up, Roy? <laughs> uh, Mario, you're good to go. Yeah. Anderson, where are you from? He's from the Dominican Republic. Originally from the Dominican Republic. Uh, English is my second language, so uh, <laughs> if you guys see me 
kind of mess up on some things that I say every once in a while because English is actually my second language. My mom can't even speak English. <laughs> she can understand it a little bit here and there, but you know, she's always kind of, you know, she she can she can get herself out of her out of trouble with English, but really when I'm home I speak to her in Spanish because that's, you know, that's her language. Roy checking in from Freehold, New Jersey. Ooh, that's pretty close. Hello. Aaron, yes, very nice video. Yesterday's video. Oh, nice, That's awesome. what mean. Appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Mario Pio. I did see the video. Would be even better if it didn't rain. I, I know. know. It's, yeah. I mean, we can't control modern nature, right? <laughs> but we still had fun. So everybody I came A out. Lot of people came. We had tons of fun. Uh, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. Kev, hi from UK. Hi, Kev. Uh, Caleb. The meat video was nice. Thank you. Awesome. Dalso Thai Bar. Woo, made it in time. I got them. <laughs> Hi, Dalso. Uh, Aaron, a lot of good looking cars on the meat. Yeah, they were awesome cars. Six different Type Rs came, came out. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them was tuned. You guys saw that. Uh, we had a WRX. We had the Ford Focus RS from Official Sticky. Uh, he's a really nice guy, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, everybody there was really nice. And then uh, we had the Acura Crew Nation. We had uh, Endless EP3 come out with his uh, EP3 SI. That was really fun. Mancuso. Mario P.L. Don't put it away. She needs to love on a row. Yeah, so that's about it. I'm not putting it away. We're going to have fun with it. And you're going to see um, videos of the top down, top down in the in snow. The snow. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. G Shakalov, the Gato Wife looks lovely as well, ways. Thank you. <laughs> Anderson, where are you from? He answered that. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary P. Oh, no, don't be that guy. <laughs> the top down in the top snow. Top down in the snow. I'm going to do it. Come on. It's going to be has fun. has to be the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, better bundle up. Yep. Uh, Del, Sol, Del Sol, WRX for sure. For the winter. Yeah, Aaron, 335. Shades, if the WRX gets new axle, it will make a killer winter car. I think That's so. That's true. It's all-wheel drive. It's all-wheel drive. So i got to fix that ASAP. Yeah, Mara PL WRX will be great for that. Mm -hmm. Anderson W. <laughs> so everyone wants me WRX. I think it's like gonna be. The vote is on the WRX. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make the WRX the winter car. Yep, ready to run. Roy WRX is all wheel drive, but depending on what needs to be done, the Type R, I guess. The Type R is a, a second runner up. It'll it'll be in the winter for sure. We'll have some fun. Yeah, Zaki Gato, how do you, how do you? get a bigger fan base on my YouTube channel or oh, how do I get a bigger fan base on my YouTube channel besides making videos every day I want to get on your level it's a lot of That's persistence lo it's a grind it's a it's a it's grind every day basically yeah. Just make videos make he, good videos he works long hours I work a lot <laughs> Uh, just make good videos that are mm -hmm. entertaining and great that, content yeah and just do it every day do mm -hmm. it every day and try to collaborate with people yep uh, uh, Caleb, WRX is perfect for winter. It will be cool to see how the tie bar does in the snow, though. Yeah, I can't That's wait. That's true. I wanted to see that, too. Yeah, we'll see that. So we'll, we'll probably get snow tires, maybe. Eric, WRX makes sense, but snow drifting S2000 top down vids would be <laughs> sick. We're going to do that. I agree, Eric. I have the perfect spot right here for it, too, for yes. some snow drifts in no the S2000. No salt. Nothing. So you don't you worry about no rust. ru rusting. Yeah. Yep. Rob! Throb hey Nation's in the house. What up, Throb Nation? Uh, Del so Type R, uh, come over to Belgium, drive my FN3 diesel. Ooh, I wish we got the diesel here. We might here. have to fly to Belgium. Hey, I, I wouldn't mind a Belgian trip. <laughs> Shay's way, Throb in the house. Throb's in the house. Right, what's up, Rob? Love the blue Type R. Yep. Hey, Zach. Uh, Zachy, if I wasn't in Hawaii. Oh, he's in Hawaii. Oh, nice. And back in Delaware, I would totally meet up. You have to make a trip. <laughs> I have to make a trip, man. Uh, Rob, hey Roy, blue is the best. Shades, Cameron, hey guys, hi Cameron. You guys like my blue WRX? I like that blue as well. Yeah. Roy, Audubon, the pearl gray. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, old man toy. Zachy, got my GoPro 5 for 288 Nice. Best Buy and Walmart were selling for 350 That's a good price. Where did you buy that? 288 for uh, for a GoPro is really good. Oh, Cameron, right, that's right. He's at work here. Mm -hmm. um, there. <laughs> uh, no, Rob. Championship White. Champ is, White, yes. yes. Championship <laughs> White, all the way. Still got to make that video, the significance of Championship White. I, keep I know, the, the history behind it. Yeah. Elite Tuner. What's up, guys? Hey. What's up, Elite? Uh, Zachy, hope everyone on here is doing well. Thanks, Zach. Rob, hey, Cam. White is okay. No, uh, White is the best. White's the best. <laughs> 
<laughs> Apollo, hey Gaja family, good to see you guys again. Question, are you looking to keep the Thai bar suspension stock? Also, if you are ever in North Florida, let me know and we'll do a collaboration. That'd be awesome. We okay. definitely got to do a Florida trip at yeah. some point, like soon. Winter escape. <laughs> I have family in, near Tampa, so mm -hmm. I have to go visit them anyway. So I'll let you know when I'm up there. Uh, suspension for the Type R, honestly, it's pretty much 100% done. You know, you put it in plus yeah. R mode, it's extremely stiff. You saw how I did on the track. All it needs is better tires. The only thing I want to change in the suspension is I want uh, to be able to give it more camber because uh, the, t the wheels as they are, the, they're good for the tire wear. But I want to give it a little bit more camber so it's like that a little bit. So when it takes the curves, it actually, uh, the contact patch of the tires work better in the curves. Um, so I, I'm looking in camber plates, but unfortunately they're not out yet. That's, that's the story of the life with the Type R. That's why I kind of like yesterday, I was like, I kind of wish I got an SI as well or something because if I had an SI I'd be modding like I'd modding it like crazy with the K tuner mm -hmm. I'd be changing the downpipe with the suspension all kinds of stuff but with the type R you know the things are getting slow things are pretty slow uh, with getting uh, parts question for you Apollo what car do you have so then when we fly down to Florida I think he has can... an S2000 if I'm not mistaken so then you could drive his S2000 mm -hmm. <laughs> Cameron Lloyd got the squat hashtag got drop the nation <laughs> hashtag drop nation <laughs> W711, hey from Ireland, looking good. Ireland, nice. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thanks, man. Eric, Apollo, we're in North Florida. I live in Florida. Nice. You, we should all meet up in Florida yeah, when we'll we make do a that. trip. Yeah, I'll let you guys know wherever I go. I'm going to let you all know. I know. So we can meet up. We, we like to do a little winter escape because yeah. it gets really cold. Yeah, I'm already, I'm already done with the cold and it's not even uh, full on winter yet. <laughs> and we want to, you know, kind of fly somewhere that's warmer. Yeah. Uh, Kalon, what upgrades should you do to a Type R? So eventually, I, I really, like I've said before, I really kind of want to bump up the power to like 350, 360, get better wheels and tires for it, uh, well really tires, uh, get stickier tires for it, um, probably just uh, uh, get more aggressive brake pads mm -hmm. to go along with the sweet rotors. The brake pads that are on there are really good and they squeal and stuff like that, but I want a more aggressive setup so that when, you know, when I'm on the track, it won't at all um, fade and that's something that can happen and I kind of want to do some upgrades to the cooling a little bit like the, the radiator possibly oh, or so it tends to get overheat so right or maybe a custom hood with some scoops or something on it to take the heat out some heat extractors something like that so that's basically what the type R needs after for that track day, right? yeah after that I mean for a track day weapon the type R is pretty much set up that's mm -hmm. you know that may be a negative for some people that want to buy a type r and kind of and, hook it up yeah. you're basically when, whatever you do to the suspension is likely not going to be a positive it might be a negative like lowering the car by the, for example is going to be a negative i think because you want that suspension travel suspension travel is actually good to keep the tires on the road especially on a track you know you hit the curbing on on, on a track and you're going to want that suspension travel to kind of soak up the bump if you have no suspension travel or your car is slammed to the ground mm -hmm. your whole chassis is going to jump up and then you're gonna lose traction and you might spin out. But um, that's why lowering the car, while it's good for the center of gravity, it's not that good in terms of the suspension travel. So it's like a, it's like a give and take. Mm -hmm. G Shackle up, hey Rob, how you doing? Mary PL, thinking about getting the 2018 Lexus. Le um, Lexus what? Is a 350. <coughs> IS350? IS350, sorry. F Sport uh, um, rear wheel drive as daily driver, will it be okay with winter tires? I do a lot of winter driving here in Jersey. Yeah, as long as you get winter tires, pretty much any car is okay in, in, in the winter. I had a BMW 335, 325 IS from 1988. And, 1988. Uh, 1988, 325 that IS. That was before I was born. <laughs> and I drove, yeah, I know. <laughs> I drove that thing through the winter, two different winters, and it was on all seasons, it wasn't even on winter tires, it was in New York, uh, not New York City, but just uh, upstate New York, and near Westchester actually, and it was, I, I did fine. I remember one winter I took my Prelude and I had these cheap, crappy summer tires on crappy uh, wheels, and even that, you know, did okay, so it all depends on how you drive, you know, I'm a little older and a little smarter now. So, and I also live on top of a mountain, so I gotta be careful with what I have. So I'm, you know, more conscious of what kind of tires and stuff like that. But honestly, if, you know, for, t for new car, winter, winter tires, you should be fine. Winter tires and a new car with the, with all the electronics it has, mm -hmm. you're gonna be just fine. Yeah. Uh, Rob, love love the blue WRX. Looks awesome in that color. Yeah. Yes, it's <laughs> his favorite color. 
Silver, uh, <coughs> Silver Star, do you know any owner of Type Bar FK2 from your country? This will be nice to compare as from YouTube, it looks like old Type Bar is faster than the new one, again, as it was with EP3 and FN2. So the... Did they import FK2? No, the FK2s are only uh, in Europe, and unfortunately yeah. because of uh, US import rules, uh, you have to wait 25 years before you import that car. Now if, like for example, from what I understand, I think you can import the RSX Type R, which is the, mm. the, the Integra Type R, because we've got the, uh, the RSX, which is basically the same car. But we never got that chassis, the FK2 chassis in America. Mm. So they never crash tested, and it's a whole big thing. So, so you can say nobody in the US owns the FK2? I mean, they somebody might own an FK2, but it's not street legal, and, uh. and who knows if you know they would be even a able to, uh, to take it out to drive it. Mm -hmm. Rob, hey G, <laughs> official sticky, howdy, hi John. <laughs> What's up John? Um, Eric, 34 miles outside of Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, that's nice. pretty close, that's not bad. You used to live in Fort Lauderdale. For I a lived year. in Fort Lauderdale for a year, yep. Yeah. Mark Mancuso. Mancuso's yeah. on. Yo bro, getting my car wrapped soon. Can't wait, full tie bar slice skirts and bumpers with carbon fiber. Nice. Vegan front. I gotta drive, uh, so Mark Mancuso is that EP3 uh, SI you saw. Um, at the meet. At the meet. And the interior and the, video. Uh, yeah, I made the interior. He's got a custom interior. Uh, I gotta put his car up on the chair. I gotta drive it. <laughs> so mm -hmm. bring it over here one day. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a drive. Rob, my sequel is, my squeal is almost deafening. <laughs> it's hilarious when you pull up to a drive through window speaker. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, yeah, uh, the, the brake squeal. The brakes, like, especially when it's colder. Um, and I, I, I've gotten people that, you know, I, that in front of me where I'm breaking behind them and they always look at me like, well, what's going on back there? <laughs> uh, Silver Star, only 200 letters, just want to say greetings from Estonia? Estonia? Where's Estonia? Wow, that's really cool. That's, uh, Europe? No. That's, uh, Eastern Europe. Ah, okay. Nice. Uh, Roy, Very cool. have a great night, everyone. Bye, Roy. Have a good night. Thanks for joining, Roy. Apollo. Hey guys, I have an AP1 S2000 with Olin suspension. It's set up for street and track. You will enjoy it. I told you I had an S2000. I know. Can't wait to, can't wait to drive it. Now we gotta visit Florida. So when I, when I go to Florida, I always rent a, uh, a convertible Mustang. I, I know oh, it's yeah. a cliche, but I love to, I know I love <laughs> top to down. top down convertible V6 Mustang with a 300 horsepower. I actually reviewed it. Uh, it's on mm. the channel. Take a look at it. Uh, it's one of the older videos. Cameron, watching but missing most because I work. We'll watch it again when I finish work. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks, Cameron. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Black SM, what's up, Gato? What up, Black SM? It's like 6:20 a.m. here. Need to hit bed. Back. Wait, you've been up all night? Wow. <laughs> Wing King. Wing King is there. Hi, Wing King. How's classes going for you, man? Almost done. Are you still driving 12 hours a night? Yeah. What's up with that? What's up with the driving with yeah, the 12 hours? What do you have to do <laughs> to drive 12 hours a night? Yeah. And uh, Are we Mark, all cut up? Mark, my brother just got K Tuner his ninth gen coupe. You gotta do video on that. Definitely. Oh, is that he has an SI too, right? No, uh, yeah, he has an SI as well. Mm -hmm. I love K Tuner. You know me and K Tuner. I like K Tuners. I have one. I'm ready to use it on the Type R as soon as they're ready to go. I gotta. Ha I'm gonna have to buy a Cobb access port for the WRX pretty mm -hmm. soon. So that'll be cool. Right. So we all cut up. Uh, Cameron supercharged the AP1. No, no, I'm leaving the AP1 stock. He likes his S2000 stock. It has got an intake and it's got a full, uh, basically straight pipe exhaust, no mm -hmm. catalytic converters, none of yeah. that stuff. Um, it, it screams. It's really good. Uh, you've guys seen it on video, the S2000 versus the Type R mm -hmm. video. I drove it around. That was a lot of fun. Um, and it was. it's just a really good car. It's, it's a rare car to have these days. Uh, just like a pure driving enjoyment. It's mm -hmm. my favorite car of all time, of course. It's my favorite for now, too. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to get her an AP1 S2000. Yes, in red. <laughs> in red. Uh, DG Dave, wish I was closer. I would have come to the meet. I just got a 17 SI Coupe. Awesome. Nice. I, I definitely want, I, I need to drive these cars. Yeah. Um, so a couple of things on that. Uh, April 21st of next year should be the next uh, uh, meet. That's a tentative date, you know, right now I'm looking, you know, for the Save right the date. Save the date. Save the date for now. It's either the 21st or the mm -hmm. week after or the week before. I'm not sure yet. So it's definitely going to be in April. Yeah, of for next sure. Year. 
I'm just looking at track days because mm -hmm. a lot of track day schedules are, are starting to be put up and uh, I'm going to be announcing like okay these are my track days who's coming with me you know we got New Jersey Motorsports Park we got Pocono we got Summit Point so we got a lot of track days next year as well basically starting up in April so mm -hmm. I got to plan around those track Lots days of activities a lot up. so April is going to be very interesting very fun a lot of every weekend is going to be out on track basically yeah. and every on, on weekdays weekend it's going to be awesome you guys are going to love it Mary PL, speaking of Mustangs, I hear the 2018 GT is an animal. See if you can get your hands on one. That would be lovely. That would be <laughs> awesome. So yeah, I want to get a GT. I'm gonna. I'm talking to different dealerships. So I'm. I'm talking to obviously Honda of Hackettstown, which people keep saying that. I keep, Pakistan. I keep saying Honda <laughs> of Pakistan, which is hilarious, by the way. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so Honda of Hackettstown, I'm gonna go to them. I'm gonna basically drive all their cars. I just haven't had the time to actually go drive them. So I think they have SIs and the, the new Accords and things like that. So I'll be driving those. Once I get kind of a, a portfolio with them, then I'll go to Subaru, I'll go to Hyundai, I'll go to uh, Ford, and I'll drive all their cars as well. Mm -hmm. All the Mustang GT, the Ford Rap, every, everything they have, I'm going to be putting, putting it up on the channel. Probably in the next six months, I'm going to look at all those cars. So my goal is by the end of six months from now, basically by June, I should have done all the new cars in uh, Subaru, Hyundai, uh, Ford and Honda. All the interesting cars at least. Black SM no just got back from work. So he just came back at, oh, from work at six overnight, twenty. Overnight. Wow. Overnight shift. Yeah. That's brutal. That's that's rough, man. Uh Rob, question for Tang. When Gato hits street speed numbers, are you gonna retire? <laughs> um, I don't think so. I I like to keep myself busy, so I just can't picture myself sitting at home not doing anything. So I I might force her to retire and uh, to help well, with the channel. Not just that. We, I want to start a travel uh, channel. Um. And she loves to travel, so you know if she wants to get into it, we'll, we'll do a travel channel, mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll just travel the world, eating and having fun. And yeah. She could uh, she could be the the host of that channel. Yeah. For now, I just I like to keep myself busy, so I can't see myself sitting around not doing anything. Yeah. So. So the answer is no, Rob. <laughs> I'm not going to retire. <laughs> She's never going to retire. Nope, not yet. Anyway, uh, Wing King, I will text you that answer. School is good. Two more tests and finishing my last paper tonight. Oh, awesome. Good luck with the paper. Good Wing luck, man. King. I don't miss those days. <laughs> no, not at all. Ayo, randissimo. Randissimo. My brother Gato. Hi. <laughs> what up, man? Official sticky. Let me know if you want to do an RS review. Absolutely. Drift mode included. Yes. No, I, I can't do drift mode. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I, I, would, I would love to see that. <laughs> depending on where I am, I'll do drift mode. I just, the cops, you know? The cops tend to love me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eric Street Speed just got three tickets. No more driving for <laughs> <laughs> Street Speed. Hello. Black SM, the R should be coming this week. Nice. Awesome, um, man. Can't so, wait. Let me know when you get it. Send me a picture on Instagram. Oh, so no more driving for Street Speed. <laughs> yes. Bullshit. He lies, though. Street Speed lies a lot. He's yeah. like, oh, my, my license is suspended. Oh, wait, it's not. <laughs> uh, Mark, Honda Day, April 11th and 12th. Mark it. Um, oh, nice. Honda Day. So, Honda Day. So, after the Honda Day, we'll do our own meet. Mm -hmm. uh, Rob, I saw that, Eric. He's done. So he says. So he says. Yeah. Black SM, Rob, did you try out that thing with the key yet? Oh, throw out the key from the... Not yet. The I will. Car. I will, though. I'll, I'll do a little video on that. It looks fun. Eric, haha, right. What's up, Rob? I watch your uh, channel, too. G, when it comes time for a new paint on the WRX, what color? Well, I... That's the thing with the WRX. That's why I'm not sure what to do with it. Originally, I wanted to restore it, right? But then it has quite a bit of rust unfortunately mm -hmm. uh, it's had a rough life uh, in terms of getting hit it is 15 years old right but it's, <laughs> and it's being, so the engine and the, the drivetrain and the interior are perfect because those are something that things that driver the owner could take care of but the exterior no matter how how much you try to take care of things you know people hit it people scratch it, it you know it was a lot it was driven a lot in New York City so you know, it's it's got quite a bit of rust, unfortunately. But it might also be blue, though, right? Because you like the blue. Right. I'm not. I don't. So that's the thing. Am I going to repaint it, or is it going to become, you know, a, a winter slash, mm -hmm. you know, track car? You know, maybe. I don't know yet. Oh, David is on. Hey, buddies. Hey, David. Yo, what's up, David? We got to put away your car, man. I know. We have to talk. I I know I was sick last couple of days, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty much 
pretty much 100, well, I'm like 80% there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Caleb, no Black Friday was Cyber Monday for me. Saving for a new <laughs> car. Hopefully it's a Type R. Nice, man. Uh, yeah, like I said, I only got a chainsaw. It was $100 for the chainsaw. Mm -hmm. um, basically got the cheapest chainsaw I could find uh, so I can keep cutting my firewood. I got to save up for a lot of car parts, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Eric, that's one thing I love about this channel. No clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking street speed. Rob, got the run, guys. Cooking tonight. All right, Throb. Enjoy Bye, cooking. Rob. <laughs> no, no, his name's Throb. Throb. <laughs> when came peace. Caleb, have a good meal. Thai bar, 20%. <laughs> Black SM, see ya, Rob. Uh, G, maybe body work and rub, uh, wrap, wrap would be better. Maybe. Uh, I've been, I was looking for to buy like the rear fenders, like just to like, buy it and I could pull, bolt it on myself. Doesn't seem like they sell it. It looks like it's all completely part of the body, so I may have to cut and weld, which I'm not too comfortable with. Uh, if I do that, I, you know, if I ever do cut and weld instead of painting it, I probably would just wrap it. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. You know, first let's get a mechanical mm -hmm. uh, things done. We'll get it running 100%. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be our winter car uh, for sure. Mark, text me, bro. Maybe you can get the Type R wrapped. I know somebody really cool with that would do it for you. Yeah, we got to talk about that because I got to get my Type R wrapped. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely want to get it wrapped. There's some cool Just ideas. Protect the paint. Yeah, and right. there's some awesome ideas that I that I've been uh, kind of thinking about to get the Type R wrapped. Uh, it'll be pretty awesome. So uh, let's talk to the guys, man. Mark, we'll talk. Mario mm -hmm. PL would be nice for Honda to do a spoiler delete on the Type R as an option. So coming from off the lot. Well, the thing is delete. with the spoiler delete, so they say that the spoiler, I believe them, the spoiler actually adds downforce at the track and it's it's so, the car is so stable at high speeds, I think because of the arrow. So without the spoiler, you know, it may not perform as well as with the spoiler. I know a lot of people don't like the spoiler because it's, you know, kind of brash looking. But yeah, it might be, it might be a good idea for them to do it. Uh, maybe uh, 2019, if and when they release that cheaper Type R, maybe it'll have the mm. spoiler delete. Cheaper type R. Yeah, we shall see. I want to get one too. <laughs> uh, David, hope that my core title arrives. In the meantime, I got to use my baby. Oh man, hopefully what? it doesn't snow anytime soon. I man. know, before your title arrives. Yeah, I hope you got, what kind of tires you got you running, uh, David? Stone? You cannot he's still doing the, He's still doing the summer tires. That's very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> what? Careful, David. Yeah, be very careful. Alrighty, I think we are done. I think we're set. So, so I think that's it, right? Yes. All right, Wrapping guys, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, thanks, as always, for watching. Tomorrow, um, we'll have some more content, as usual. I'm not sure. Back in schedule. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to be WRX content, or she actually did a car review herself. She uh, on, the, on the Civic uh, the Civic Coupe. coupe. She, she did her own car review. I kind of want to share. It was surprisingly good. <laughs> yeah, I want to share it with you guys. What do you guys think about that? Uh, should I share that review with you guys? It'll be fun, I think. Uh, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow? No. <laughs> All right, we'll share something else then. Uh, I didn't meet Mr. Regular from Regular Car Reviews. Maybe I'll release that, or I'll do some WRX content. We'll see. We'll see what I, what we do tomorrow. Mark, text me the color. I will like you quote. Um, so. All right, we'll Bye, talk about. Bye, Mark. We'll see. Um, we'll, Black we'll, SM really want to stay, but need to sleep before the sun comes out. But right. I managed to catch a bit. Take All care right, man. You too. Bye. We'll, we'll talk soon, man. Mary PL. Oh, by the way, try to review some Lexus cars as well. I like. Lexus. Oh, a, a, any car? Like I said. If you have a, if you live around me and you have a car that uh, would you'd like to feature on the channel, I would love to drive it. You know, it doesn't matter what you. it is. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be a pickup truck. It could be mm -hmm. uh, uh, a work truck. Whatever you have that you don't mind me driving around, you know, happy to do it. And uh, I'll meet you. You know, hour hour and a half. I'm willing to drive. Mm -hmm. No problem at all. Uh, Kayla, bye. Till next time. Have a warm and safe night. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> good night, guys. Stay warm. Eric, another hundred percent life live stream later thanks eric <laughs> thanks everyone um they will talk to you in a week all right guys thanks bye, guys. for watching peace have a, out have a good night <laughs>